Oh, hi, this is Doug Perkowski with OC3 Entertainment, the makers of the FaceFX facial animation software. And I'm here to talk about FaceFX Studio 2013. Uh, we're currently in beta and we're going to be releasing later in August. Uh, and we've greatly simplified the process of creating a uh, talking character in FaceFX. Uh, what used to be a multi-step process and different animation packages with different steps for bones and morph targets has now become as simple as simply dragging on an FBX file onto the application uh, and selecting a text file that specifies uh, where the bone poses or morph targets are keyed at uh, and what the names of those uh, targets that you want to be driving are. Um, so here's our default batch export text file and it just says that open is going to be at frame 10, the W shape is going to be at frame 20, and so forth. Uh, so if you were working in Maya, I mean this would work the same whether you're in Max or Soft Image or Blender, um, you would just be keying the open pose at 10, uh, the W pose at 20, and so forth. And regardless of whether you're using bones or morph targets, uh, you just key the bones or key the morph targets so that it makes the shapes that you want uh, at those frames, uh, and then export an FBX file, and then drag it onto FaceFX Studio. Uh, and the end result in FaceFX Studio is a character that is completely ready uh, to uh, throw audio files at to start talking. So all we do is we just generate a new animation um, by selecting it, um, and we can make our character talk. Uh, so that is, uh, we're very happy with how FaceFX 2013 has uh, simplified this pipeline. I mean, all the power is there under the hood if you want to dive into what's going on and change the defaults. Um, but for most people, just create six poses for the mouth uh, to start getting your character talking. Um, uh, one important thing to note if you want to, if you're a content creator and you want to support FaceFX, um, uh, you drag on the main FBX file. All these are sub animations that are following the Unity's uh, naming format of um, character name at uh, animation name.fbx. So all those will get added to your character. You can add these uh, body animations then and layer them on top of facial animations very easily from within FaceFX Studio uh, using text tags or what have you. Um, uh, but the FaceFX poses file, if it's present, uh, we will get the uh, the bone poses and morph targets keyed off of from that FBX file. Um, if it's not present, we'll just do it right off of the base. Um, so if you have a character and you want to support uh, face effects, uh, just create a face effects poses um, file, uh, animation file, and key the bone, the bone poses and morph targets to these targets. Um, drag it onto Studio until he talks well, uh, and then you're ready to go. You can support face effects that easily. Uh, you don't even have to buy uh, the software just to use the no save evaluation and check it out. Once you do buy the no save evaluation, you know, then you can do things like layer on an idle animation, uh, analyze an audio file, um, and you know, layer on other body animation like points and shrugs, um, and then export an FBX file. Um, this is the no save evaluation, uh, so you can't, uh, you can't export the FBX file. Uh, but if you had the full version, you could export an FBX file of the talking, walking, uh, idling character all put together as one. So this makes for a very smooth pipeline if you're using Unity, uh, which is also works off of FBX, or just about any other animation software package that supports FBX. It makes it very easy to create talking characters. Uh, we really hope you find this tool useful. Let us know your feedback uh, when you get a chance. Thanks so much.